Hi guys, today we'll be talking about <coughs> measuring vertical sextant angles using the sextant. Alright, so uh, this is of course in theory, uh, I'm not demonstrating it, but uh, I have tried to use animations for you to be able to visualize uh, on what is it that you would have to do and what is it that you will be seeing through the telescope of the sextant uh, when you are actually measuring the vertical sextant angle. You can then use this theory lesson to go out and uh, do your own uh, practicals using a sextant. All right, so let's start with it. I don't want to make it uh, too long. So normally we use uh, the sextant to measure three different kinds of uh, angles. Uh, two are for coastal navigation. One of them is uh, vertical section angle that measures the angle between the top of an object that could be a lighthouse um, and the horizon. Then we have the horizontal section angles. Uh, I will cover this in my next video but for now it measures the angle between two objects and I'll show you how it is done in my next video. For ocean navigation where there is no uh, coastal objects available we use uh, the celestial body altitudes uh, where we measure the angle between a celestial body and the horizon. Now of course I'll cover this in my other video as well. Uh, in this video I just want to focus on uh, measuring the vertical section angle, how it is measured, what are the principles behind it and what do you do once you obtain the vertical section angle. So uh, the, the basic use of the vertical section angle is that once you obtain the vertical section angle uh, you can uh, use it to measure the distance of uh, the object of which you are measuring the vertical section angle. So for example uh, if I am a ship and I am at sea and I have got the vertical section angle of a lighthouse as you can see in this picture then I can measure uh, how far uh, horizontally uh, I am uh, in distance from the lighthouse all right and this is of course a useful thing to have uh, in navigation uh, especially in coastal navigation uh, in the olden days when you didn't have radars uh, people used to use sextant and they used to use uh, vertical sextant angles to make sure that they are uh, at a safe distance from coastal objects such as islands or lighthouses so that they know they are navigating safely at sea all right so when you measure um, a section angle you using a, a sextant uh, you hold the sextant vertically for a vertical section angle and then what you have to focus is basically on measuring uh, the angle between the top of the lighthouse and the horizon all right this is the angle that you measured which is denoted by theta degrees uh, on your screen that you can see all right now of course this is done from the bridge on the ship so you have the height of eye correction that you will have to apply uh, but ideally it should be done at the sea level so when you are measuring the vertical sextant angle there are a couple of things you have to remember the first thing is you don't measure the angle from the top of the lighthouse to the base of the lighthouse and that's not the angle that you have to measure all right you always measure it from the top of the lighthouse to the horizon uh, now uh, this is what you I would see through the telescope uh, of the sextant when you are starting off to measure the vertical section angle of a lighthouse. Now in this case uh, for you to understand what is going on uh, I you can see there are two lighthouses one is a real image one is a kind of a reflected image. Now this you will see only if there is a side error in your sextant normally the reflected image and the uh, true image is overlapping each other. I will show what I mean in my next slide. All right, now in, in this slide here, I've, I've shown uh, what you see is uh, the reflected image side by side with the true image because there could be a slight side error in the sextant. Now I've covered all my errors of the sextant in other videos, so don't worry about that here. So now, it now just imagine that there was a side error in the sextant for which you will see the reflected image side by side to the true image. And uh, your sextant, you are holding it vertically and the sextant is at zero degrees and zero minutes. And now as you start moving the index bar, this is what you will see through the eye of the telescope. All right, you will see the reflected image moves slowly in the eye of the telescope whereas the true image is where it is and of course that's how it should be. The true image should be where it is. You can't move a lighthouse using a sextant but the reflected image uh, starts to move but you stop the index bar as soon as you see that the top of the lighthouse of the reflected lighthouse is touching the horizon. All right, now in my next slide I'll show you what I meant. Now this is the uh, island, example of an island and uh, in, a light, in a sextant without any errors this is what you will see. You will see the island as it is because the reflected image of the island is overlapping with the true image. But as you start to move the index bar or in the index clamp of the sextant you will slowly see the reflected image move. Stop when it touches the horizon and that is when you note down the 
vertical sextant angle of the sextant by reading the sextant of course all right now uh, you can use this value to measure the distance of and i'll show you how it is done so for that you need a couple of values of course you need the height of the lighthouse in this case and the height of the lighthouse is given to you in the admiralty list of lights that's a publication um, uh, you can enter the publication for a particular region using the name of the lighthouse and you can go into the publication and find out the uh, height of the lighthouse which is given from the sea level and that is why we reduce all our sextant sites at sea level because everything should be measured at sea level now ideally on the bridge uh, of the ship from where you are uh, as an observer you are measuring the vertical section angle that is not at sea level as an observer you should be at sea level but for practicality you cannot be at sea level you have to be on the bridge wing right you have to be on the top of the ship and that is why you have to apply a correction known as height of eye correction now in this case for example let's say the height of eye correction or the height of eye was about 8 meters now you got the sextant for example you got a sextant angle of 1 degree 19 minutes standing from the bridge top of the bridge right uh, top of the ship and let's assume that you were at a height of about 8 meters from the sea level now you've got a couple of values you've got uh, 1 degree 19 minutes as your vertical sextant angle and you've got your 120 meters as the height of the lighthouse but you have to make a, apply a correction to the vertical section angle because you didn't take the angle at the sea level uh, you took the angle from the top of the ship uh, which is located at a height from the sea level so you apply the height of eye correction all right so this is the angle that you should have ideally measured as you can see on your screens but you couldn't measure that angle for practicality you could not be at sea you had to be at a height above sea so let's apply the height of eye correction all right to correct the vertical section angle now in this case of course the vertical section angle uh, you can see suddenly it has reduced from 1 degree 19 minutes to 1 degree 14 minutes now how did that happen now let me show you how so the original vertical section angle was 1 degree 19 minutes but your height of eye was about 8 meters now you have to go into the nautical almanac uh, as soon as you go into the nautical almanac uh, on the very first or the second page you have uh, this table here and on the extreme right hand side you can see uh, the the heading of the column is dip and that gives you your height of eye correction now the height of eye is given to you in meters as well as in feet uh, denoted by m and f and the height of eye correction is in the middle of the two heights given right and i'll show you how it all works so in this case of course the height of eye was 8 meters which lies somewhere between 7.9 and 8.2 all right uh, the section angle was 1 degree 90 minutes now you can see 8 meters is somewhere here between 7.9 and 8.2 you don't have to do any interpolation you straight away take the correction of minus 5 minutes and this is minutes remember and you apply that correction to your original vertical section angle apply to the minutes don't apply to the degrees some people make this mistake and they apply to the degrees that would be wrong this is all the corrections given as minutes so you apply to the minutes and you get your vertical section angle corrected and that gives you your corrected vertical section angle as 1 degree and 14 minutes because you applied the height of eye correction and this reduces your section angle to the sea level that is what we want all the measurements have to be done at sea level because your height of the lighthouse is also given from sea level in the admiralty list of lights all right once you get your corrected vertical section angle then you can just go into the nordis nautical tables all right once you go into the nordis nautical tables somewhere in the middle of the nordis nautical tables at about page 512 and 513 you have the um, values of distance by vertical angle now to do that you have to enter uh, the horizontal column using the height of the lighthouse all right so let's go into the horizontal column using the height of the lighthouse which was you remember was 120 meters in this example now you can see the uh, horizontal column is given in meters and feet uh, you have to go into meters of course and meters is somewhere here uh, and my height of it's 120 meters here right now once you select your height of the object go down the column of the appropriate height of the object and stop uh, where you see your vertical corrected vertical section angle all right in this case you have to stop at 1 degree and 14 minutes all right as soon as i go down you can see i have stopped at 1 degree and 14 minutes and now i go horizontal onto my left hand side to get my distance off so if i go horizontally to the left of my uh, vertical section angle I can get the distance of in this case it was about three nautical miles so that means my ship was about three nautical miles away from the lighthouse when i measured the vertical section angle all right now these are the use of the tables i can find out the same value using the principles of trigonometry in this case it becomes a right angle triangle now in this case the right angle triangle you know the angle theta which is the vertical section angle in this case the corrected vertical section angle of course which is one degree and 40 minutes you need to find out the 
adjacent side in this diagram as you can see and you have the opposite side uh, which is the height of the lighthouse and that's why you use the principles of tan theta of trigonometry which is tan theta equals opposite by adjacent you need to find out adjacent that is unknown but you have the opposite and you know the tan theta so if you put in the values uh, keep your knowns to one side and unknowns to the other you can make a transposition as I have shown you here so opposite by adjacent equals tan theta then of course you know th you need to find out the adjacent so the adjacent will be transposed as the distance and then tan theta will become the denominator over the height of the lighthouse so this is what I have done uh, the height or the distance of that you will get would be initially in meters because the height of the lighthouse is in meters but you can convert it into nautical miles by dividing the distance that you get by 1852 meters so because one nautical mile is 1852 meters so the initial let me show you in the example here so your um, to get the height above sea level of a lighthouse is the height above sea level of the lighthouse was 120 meters according to your admiralty list of lights and you obtained a vertical section angle of 1 degree and 14 minutes uh, using the principles of tan theta you take your unknown to the other and keep your knowns to one side and you can see how I've written on the values follow my prompts in the calculator and you should be getting your answer as distance equals 5573.86 meters this is of course in meters because your height of uh, the lighthouse was taken originally in meters but once you get the answer in meters you can convert it into nautical miles by dividing it by 1852 that is because one nautical mile equals 1852 meters once you do that you can see that the distance of is about 3.009 nautical miles which is very similar to the one that you got using the Norris and nautical almanac all right hope that was uh, a short video uh, good enough for your understanding I'll put up more videos regarding um, um, horizontal sextant angles and celestial altitudes and uh, other videos related to the sextant. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.